Hi, how's it going today? Today I want to talk to you about something that is near and dear to my heart, which is stormwater facility maintenance. Today we're going to be talking about Contech Storm Filter Catch Basin. Now, if you don't know what a catch basin is, they are basically a filter that goes into a vault or a catch basin, and you have to clean them out annually, every couple of years, depending on how dirty the street is, how dirty your site is. I actually went out in the field, got some videos, got some photos, and I want to share them with you today. What is the storm filter catch basin? All right, let's check out this quick video from Contech. You can see this is a vault. Water is going to run into this facility. It's going to go into the filter. It's going to come out clean on the other side. Water goes into the facility. Water goes into the sides of the filter. And as it fills all the way up, this little float pops up. And then water goes out through the bottom into this piping system, which is underneath the, the filter. So the outsides and the top of these, especially the very bottom area down here, these areas are going to be the dirtiest, you would guess, but all the way up. The first thing you're going to want to do to clean out the cartridges, is you got to pull off the bolt cover lid here. You can see he's pulling this off up and then he's going to have to pull it out onto the road. A little bit scary for traffic control. It's too bad they don't have the manhole pick holes on the other sides or maybe more of them to give you more options. This facility, that's the inlet bay right there that guy's pulling out, still has the sediment trap or the inlet protection inside. So this is the first time this has ever been cleaned out and that should have been pulled out after construction was done. So good thing we're getting that out of there. Now you can see he's got his vacuum set up right here. Um, that's going to be connected to a back truck or in this case, a trailer and truck. And they're going to be sucking that out, blasting with a pressure washer and sucking out all the sediment and soot. All right, next up, we're going to look at this guy who's pulling off what's called the hood on top of it. I'm going to show this one again. You can see the plastic hood he's pulling off with his hand really easy, and he's going to expose the media, which is right below that. All right, in this video, he's picked this up out of the cartridge hole, and now they're blasting it with a pressure washer. They're spraying off all the dirt on the outside. This is really nasty and dirty. This is a pretty busy, and he's basically blasting it out while the vac truck yeah, sucks it out. He's rolling up the new cartridge. These are pretty heavy. I mean, you could you could lift them without blowing out your back. I think they don't say they weigh like 100 pounds. I mean, they come in different sizes. The taller ones are obviously heavier, but he's going to be pulling this in with a rope to protect his back. There we go. I mean, they're a lot lighter when they're dry media. The media inside is pretty lightweight. It's it's made of zeolite, perlite, and gack. All all less dense than water, all things that will float. And you can see all they do is they, they drop them in and they're just, it's just a quarter turn. You're just twisting this thing right back in. Installing these initially is quite easy. It's the pulling out the old ones that are wet and heavy, full of dirt. That is more of a more tricky, more hard on your body. I'm going to show you a couple of photos here as well. So here is the vac truck. You can see behind here, this looks like about a six inch uh, size vacuum. So it's pretty large. Um, these guys are pulling out this with the same rope and hook setup as he had before. You can see how much string he's got in his face. Not for the, this is for the people who want to get a workout. You can see all the dirt and soot on top of that hood. Now they're sucking out the inlet bay, which is in the middle of this. This is where the water initially goes into. And this is what it looks like when it's all clean. So they're going to suck out all the dirt and soot below the filter. So there shouldn't be a lot in there, but there, there is, and then it's going to look reasonably clean when it's done. And there's all the dirt and soot on top of all right, so now they've pulled off the hood and you can see someone, probably my coworker, is taking a picture here. And that's all the media that's inside. It's going to be sopping wet and just full of dirt. And actually, this isn't actually that dirty. That stuff at the top should not be dirty. If you remember that from the video, water is going to flow into the bottom. And so the stuff at the very top shouldn't be dirty. It's the stuff below and then higher up that's going to be dirtier and dirtier. And there's the back truck sucking it out. There's the pressure washer. All right, here's a different scene. You can see that the weather is different. And this is actually a truck and trailer setup. So you can see this is only a four inch uh, vacuum, not as powerful, can't hold as much dirt and soot in here. So you gotta make more trips. If you can get a back truck in, definitely preferable. They're parking on the sidewalk, not recommended, but sometimes it's the only way, sometimes it's safer to do that. And then, yeah, then parking in the street, depending on what traffic control setup you have. All right, here's some new filters they're gonna be putting in. This is how much dirt and soot that's on top of these. You can see this is pretty gnarly. I don't think these have ever been maintained. This is the first time. There's the trailer with the truck. Thanks so much for checking it out. I hope that has been helpful and will help you make better stormwater facility design decisions. Storm filters are an important part of treatment for our facilities, for our roads, for our project sites. 
learning how to maintain them, learning what goes into it is really important. Thanks so much and have a great one.